When you revisit some of these catalytic cameras from the past, you'll find that they can still produce beautiful cinematic imagery that measures up to today's standards. Well, kind of. Some of these lack 4K, they can only shoot slow motion with a cropped sensor, and they aren't particularly lightweight. However, the color science and dynamic range of these cameras still hold up, if not beat some of the current cinema cameras at the lower priced end of the market. The best part is that you can now get these early cameras for a fraction of their original price. Let's look at some of those cameras, and most importantly, the imagery they can create. Released in April of 2011, it was an exciting time when the Sony F3 came out. Costing just around $16,000, it was an actual cinema camera with S-Log. It was one of the first genuinely cinematic digital cameras to come with a log color profile at that price point. However, the camera was quickly forgotten when Canon entered the game with the C300 shortly after, and then Sony introduced the FS700. Now you can get this camera at an absolute steal, even sometimes under $1,300 for a complete package. At the time, it was the first low-cost camera to feature a super 35mm size CMOS image sensor designed specifically for HD video acquisition. Offering 30fps capture at 1080p and 60fps at 720p. To absolutely nail your shots, this camera produced gorgeous soft filmic colors accurate skin tones, and impressive dynamic range while keeping the file sizes small along with impressive battery life. So what films were shot with it? Well, the Sony F3 was used alongside other cameras to shoot various shows and movies, most notably Sons of Anarchy, The Key and Pele Show, and the 2012 film Safety Not Guaranteed, starring Mark Duplass, Jake Johnson, and Aubrey Plaza. Up next is the 1MX, a game-changing camera from RED that's helped to shape modern digital filmmaking. Along with the Alexa, these two cameras were the ones that pushed us into the digital age. They've become one of the biggest and most well-known companies within the cinematography world, now offering products that can produce a monstrous 120 FPS in 8K with ease. Even though it's almost 13 years old, if you're fortunate enough to find one in good condition, you can find a complete package for under $2,000. It may be the oldest camera on this list, but the camera is built like a tank and can still perform well even for its age. The RED 1MX camera has been used in huge movies, such as The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, Pirates of the Caribbean, On Stranger Tides, and The Social Network starring Jesse Eisenberg, Andrew Garfield, and Justin Timberlake. Released in June 2010, Alexa produces a beautiful image that many of us try to emulate. Although there have been multiple Alexa cameras over the years, most still revolve around the same sensor available in the first Alexa, the Alev 3 sensor. The Alexa Classic was such a well-designed, sturdy camera for newcomers to the cinema camera scene. It could withstand any beating you gave it. It was weather-sealed from any sort of water or dust for confident outdoor shooting and easy to learn and operate. It also had modular options to suit your filming needs and a built-in shoulder cutout perfect for settling onto your shoulder naturally. While this camera once cost over $70,000 just for the body, you can now get yourself a complete package for under $10,000. However, they're slowly becoming harder and harder to come by. If you have projects that don't require a true 4K delivery and want the Alexa look, then snagging an Alexa Classic may be the perfect option that won't break the bank. Plus, Skyfall was shot with this camera. Originally priced at a whopping $250,000, the Sony F35 is a camera that's held up concerning image quality and that filmic look. It was created to match up alongside film, which is why it only had white balance settings of 3200 and 5600. In all honesty, this camera was almost ahead of its time. The F35 features a 12.4 megapixel super 35mm size CCD sensor with a full HD resolution of 1920 by 1080 at frame rates up to 50p. Even though it can only record in 1080p, the actual sensor is just shy of 5.8K. This is one of the main reasons why it can produce some stellar footage and is still loved and used by cinematographers today. This is not a run-and-gun camera. It's heavy and was never built for that in mind. 
However, if you take pride in setting up a scene and know what type of shot you need, the F-35 will give you incredible results that rival today's modern cameras. You can now easily snag this camera on sites like eBay for $2,500 to $5,000. Many cinematographers still hold this camera in high regard, and to this day, it'll capture images you'll be proud of. The F-35 was used on a number of shows and films, such as Sherlock, Doctor Who, Tron, and Transformers Dark of the Moon. So that was all about four old but gold cinema cameras that still hold up to today's standards. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and if you liked the video, consider subscribing.